Paper was like gold in medieval times. I want tobacco. Sugar. That everything we thought we knew about the world might turn out to be completely wrong. These brides have their big day planned to perfection. Oh my oh. god! Beautiful. <laughs> I'd be a knight if Robbie didn't have it somewhere like this. But they decided to hand complete control over to the grooms. That is class. I feel like I go to Hogwarts. Yes, the final surprise is lovely boots. It's a huge risk. I'm actually going to kill him. <laughs> So will they all live happily ever after? I don't know how Nick would pick this and picture me in it. I thought he knew me better. Or will it end in disaster? Literally, I'm not going to the wedding. Tonight, Harry Potter's number one fan, Brendan, becomes the wedding wizard. Because I'm obsessed with Harry Potter. But his stylish Mexican partner, Victor, has never seen the movies. It's not a kid's party, it's our wedding. Can Brendan get Victor under his spell? Apparently he wants everyone to look good except me. Or will the ceremony turn into a Mexican standoff? Literally, I'm not going to the wedding. I'm not going to the wedding and I don't care what he does. I'm not going. One year ago, when Corkman Brendan first saw Victor from Mexico at a party, it ignited a spark that turned into a flame. We first met in the Doors nightclub in Dublin. It was my 21st birthday. 20, 27th. 27th, 28. 27th. No, what age am I? 29th. So 28. 28. 28th. I said 21st. Yeah. He wants to be younger, but he, <laughs> he was just like magic. Yeah. And Victor was soon under Brendan's spell. It was definitely love at first sight. It was like a, like a chemical reaction. It just blew up straight away. Soon love and friendship were going hand in hand. The day after, it was very funny because he invited me to, for breakfast. And suddenly, in the middle of the street, in O'Connell Street, he was holding my hands. And for me, it was like, oh my god, this is so different. I was always very shy and afraid to express my mm -hmm. affection for, for other guy in front of people, but he just gave me that confidence to do it. And I said, like, he's the one. Victor is definitely the fussy one in this relationship. But he also likes people to fuss over him. Victor would be a big diva on the day. Like, before, he was kind of like, oh, I don't mind what to do. And now coming up to it, he's like, oh, if I don't like something, then I'm not going to wear it. I like sparkles, I like shining. He's all about image. Not everything, but 50-50, <laughs> you know? So Victor isn't the type to hold back if something's not his cup of tea. It's my Why way or there is nothing. No. There is nothing. The guys are a fun couple, but their friends don't exactly see Brendan as an organisational genius. Very surprised he left Brendan to organise everything. Victor is the man for perfection. That word just is, perfection is Victor. Brendan is just like, oh, let's just go with the flow. And there's no argument from Brendan. He'd organise everything, you know, he's really down to detail, everything has to be perfect. Yeah, they're very chalk and cheese. Not just chalk and cheese. One says tomato, the other says tomato. It's just going to be meat, onion, tomato. No, I don't like that there are tomatoes. You know I don't. But if you're going to marry a Mexican, you have to eat spicy. But Brendan sees this wedding as a big chance to prove himself. I'm kind of excited so I can do it my way rather than being told what to do all the time, how to do it. Open, open, big, big, big. And when it comes to weddings, they may have very different tastes. Oh, for so well. No, I wouldn't consider myself easy going. I think I'd be more like hard work. <laughs> But it's time for Brendan to give it his best shot. <laughs> uh, there's always a bit of worry that the lad from Cork 
can and can't deliver. Actually, he has never organized something before for me. Brendan wouldn't be easy going at all. He's, if he has an idea in his head, that's it, he wants it. He won't settle for anything that doesn't make him happy. I hope he really gives me a big surprise for that day because it's something that, I, that I've been really waiting for. I'm shaking. <laughs> There are big changes on the horizon for these two inseparable guys. The time has come for them to sever all contact until the big day. I think I'll find it harder to be split up for the few weeks because I'm more dependent on him than he is on me. I haven't been away from him for that long. There's no, no contact, I know anything. It's, it's going to be very tough. I could just hate the idea of him being by himself. I mean, not being there with them. I just don't want them to be lonely. Never thought it was going to be like this. Like, it's so many emotions together, and it's really sad. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do now without him for the next three weeks. In case the loneliness gets too much, Brendan is leaving some messages for Victor on the iPad of love. Hi, Victor. Just leaving a small message just to say that I love you and that I'm thinking of you all the time. Just remember I'm always in your heart forever, and I love you. Victor also has a present for Brendan, a little something for every day they're apart. Inside of this box, there is 21 hearts. <laughs> when you wake up, just take one of them and read the message inside, and then just put them into this little frame that I made for you. Thank you much. I will miss you a lot, okay? Mm -hmm. Te amo, bebé. So, with a box full of hearts and a boot full of Brendan's belongings, the long goodbye finally comes to an end. Just remember, I'm always in your heart forever. And I love you. That's so sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Bren. While Victor remains in Dublin, Brendan arrives in his hometown of Clonakilty, where he will organise the wedding all on his own. Good news for his parents, who have their little boy back in the family home for the next three weeks. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Yes, they're very good as a couple. They get on very well together. And in fact, they have an opportunity nowadays that they can get married and have a legal commitment to each other that, and show it to the world, you know? I think that's fantastic for them. Are you ready for it? We have to be ready. We have to, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, it's nice to be back home. And, you know, it's always nice to come and see everyone and spend time kind of excited and nervous. You know, three weeks without him and you know, I have a whole wedding to plan, so that's obviously <laughs> nerve-wracking. But um, I think I'm excited and, you know, I want to make it the best day that he could ever have and, you know, that's the main thing, that he'll be happy in the end of it. Meanwhile, Victor and his bridesmaids are off to view the kind of venue he would love for his wedding. Oh, oh my God, God it's a huge oh, mansion. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is just wow. so romantic. <laughs> Martinstown Country House in Kildare is a cottage built in the strawberry gothic style and nestled in its own tree-lined miniature park. It's romantic, it's different, it's original. It's just a perfect venue that I would love to have my ceremony. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Amazing. Do you think he'll get something like this? He better. Yeah. He better do it. <laughs> If Victor wants his wedding to have a touch of magic, then Brendan is happy to oblige. But this groom in training has a very different vision. He loves Harry Potter. He comes up with a Harry Potter thing that day. I will literally kill him. I'm kind of thinking Harry Potter theme wedding. I love everything Harry Potter, it's just amazing. He's decided to check out the Clonakilty Model Railway Village, and his Harry Potter plan is going full steam ahead. 
I think it's going to be fabulous here because of the fact that all the trains, the whole Harry Potter team of the Hogwarts Express, and just the fact that it looks like a train station, so it goes with the kind of start off to Harry Potter. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it'd be amazing. It's really nice. Oh my God, it's three quarters. We well, could just get in a nine, nine and three quarters where the train collects them in Harry Potter. What? You know where the platform is when the train collects them. Oh yeah. Yeah, nine and three quarters. It's official. Brendan is a nerd. So guys, I was thinking about out here because you have the train and stuff here. Okay. And have people come on as if they're coming, you know, you're waiting to get on the train. This is what I want, this is the theme. The whole point of it is, you know, the starting off of Harry Potter's life in Hogwarts, the starting off of my life with Victor. Victor is from Mexico, where it's all about going loco. But for their wedding, Brendan is going loco motive. Is there going to be a lot of decorating to do? Yeah, there'll be some bit of decorating to do. Yeah? Because I want to get more, like, dark and kind of, like, maybe a bit smoky effect. OK. Because of the whole train thing and, yeah. you know, and it's about. Yeah. And that. <laughs> it might sound like a hoot to Brendan, but back at Martinstown House, Victor sees himself walking down a very different aisle. <laughs> like here. <laughs> <laughs> No, I actually love this place. It's so beautiful. Oh, no. I love it. Everything is just different. I just think that we shouldn't go anywhere else because this is just the place where yeah. I want to get married. Yeah. Too late. The Harry Potter machine has already left the station. <laughs> you probably think he's going to get rolled more. <laughs> <laughs> And here comes the train. I think Victor actually mightn't be that unhappy about it, so I think that'll be a plus. Poor Victor. Against Harry Potter, he never stood a chance. You know, this is our very first wedding, so if you're having it on the platform here, um, we'd maybe negotiate a price for you, just a contribution from you. Oh, hi. But then if you want to hire the train, it's about 300 euros. It's a deal. It's gonna be here, it's gonna happen, and it's, it's what I want. Now he's looking for his own little Hogwarts for the reception. First port of call is Liz Navard Community Centre. She's plenty of space in here, actually, isn't it? No. No? No. Not feeling it? No. Dead set, no. Yeah, no. 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 Nothing? No. Positive? Yeah. It's a no. I don't feel like this is where I want to celebrate. No? No. So do you definitely not want to find out any information about this place? No. It's 100% no. Will we just get out so before they come back? Yeah. Come on. Right, come on. OK, that's a no. <laughs> Maybe this won't be quite as easy as Brendan hoped. Meanwhile, Victor never wants to leave his dream venue. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Perfection. It's like something from another world, like, it's it beautiful. It's like fairy tale. Oh, wow. Yeah. The tables oh my are God, just amazing. Even the flowers are they on real? top. <gasps> yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Even the chairs, look at them. The chairs, look at them, they're so pretty. <laughs> Welcome to my wedding. <laughs> Wherever he picks, he'll give a lot of consideration. But I don't think it'll be to the extent of this, Victor's you know. Perfection that just make it quirky and make and it pop and just their own. Yeah, yeah. And that little bit unusual. It may feel like deja vu for the venue, but Brendan has found an almost identical looking green building at the Industrial Hall, Clonakilty. And just like the Harry Potter books, this place has a chamber of secrets. I'm just trying to think of where everything will go. Like you could really de like do loads of decorations and designs. We can kind of put a total darkness, you know, and then have the like whole, you know, effect of Harry Potter. And as if by magic, Brendan sees it all very clearly this time. I could see the whole thing here. I could see all the decorations. I could see the whole ambience of Harry Potter. And then have tables around. What, round And have the props, yeah. Because it was circular tables when they went to the ball. The Yule ball was all circular tables. And there was just one long table. In the Yule ball in the fourth movie, in the fourth book, um, there were all round tables at the ball, and that was kind of when Hermione transformed into a woman. Suddenly, she became this beautiful, you know, it was kind of her transformation. I'd like to incorporate that into it, that it was kind of that beauty and that essence of, of youth and just 
love. Back in Kildare, Victor is still at his country house. It's all just a bit overwhelming. Yeah, I, I just imagine everyone is that. Oh. oh, fuck. I said I was not going to cry. <laughs> It was just something very special because I just imagined the fact that my friends and Brendon, oh my God, <laughs> why are you talking about me? You can't make me cry. I said I was not going to cry. It's just that, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Brendon is going to be there waiting for me. It, it was just, something very special and very emotional. But Brendan thinks his venue might also have a big impact on his groom. Once he arrives up to the gate, he's gonna be like, what the hell have you brought me into? I think it was nicely decorated and stuff. I think he'd kind of get over it after a while anyway. <laughs> Back at home, Brendan the Wedding Wizard has turned set designer for his Harry Potter extravaganza. Um, we'll arrive in the door and it'll open it and have like kind of a black maybe drape coming down and then kind of go in through the drape and then he'll just see all the banners and all the tables, the kind of the sorting hat and everything. And for him, it's all in the detail. Because the sorting hat is the first thing when they go into the school that they get put into their houses and that calls out then kind of where you're going to be for your years in Hogwarts. Victor is unlikely to want a sorting hat or anything else that might mess with his hair on the big day. But what he will want is something fabulous to wear. I just want something very formal, dapper, something very important. It has to be very, very, extremely, extremely small because I want everything very fit and glamorous, something glamorous. I'll tell you, have a look through our range there. It's a London fit, which would be exactly what you're looking for. Yeah, something Pick very, very colour. extra small. That'll be us. <laughs> OK. Have a look through it, and I'll give you a few minutes, and I'll come back to you. Grant, okay. perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, my God. Uh, so I work in fashion retail with Victor, and every day I'm excited to go in and see what he's going to wear. With yeah. something pink. 100% so passionate about his fashion. That'd be beautiful. Oh. Yeah. Perfect. So let's just try one, two, okay. and three. Okay, so Perfect. Yeah. All right. Everybody, yeah. everyone. Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Here we go. <laughs> this is a groom who knows what he wants. Come on. Vamos. Oh my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh it's beautiful, Victor. Victor's suit is sharp, small, and shapely, and comes with his favorite accessory, a mirror. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm down will like this? Yes. He'll love it. Yeah. So we're here looking for kind of like Harry Potter costumes. It's for a wedding. Who's it for? Is it a guest or is it no, a...? No, it'll be for myself and my partner. I would really not like to wear something very casual or that's something that make me look like funny. Like something you might find in a joke shop? If you like robes for and stuff like that, yeah. If I found the perfect Harry Potter costume and if it was extra, extra small, he probably would love it because at least it'll show off his figure. So he'd be delighted. Is that one of them? Oh dear, Brendan seems to have shifted from a world of illusion to a world of delusion. Cause Victor is looking good and feeling good. Ooh, that <laughs> is so, so nice. Do I look nice, handsome? A little bit nervous, just because he's such a perfectionist in everything he does, down to the tie, mm. the dicky bow, the shoes, everything. So we're a little bit nervous. Meanwhile, Brendan is ready for wizard school. Ta da! Wow. <laughs> it's a little bit easy. That's Watch real. Me. Oh, I absolutely love it. Is it in the class? It's I feel really like good. I go to Hogwarts. She looks amazing. <laughs> it looks amazing, it really does. It's not fab. Give you a twirl there. Oh my god, that, it actually really compliments you, it really does. You happy with it? I love that. Yeah? Yeah. I feel like it would all go hard. But Victor may just have found his dream outfit. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Victor. Oh, Victor. 
Victor, that's you. That's, that's literally perfect. you. I love the shape. I love the color. The, the dicky ball. The dicky it's ball. Perfect. Everything. I've girls pimples, Victor. It's amazing. I think I'm just ready to marry now. This is just my personality. Yeah, I just feel like you. I'm ready yeah. to walk down around. the aisle <laughs> and say I do. Brendan has decided that they will both dress as Harry Potter, with him in green and Victor in his nice little red number. Ta-da! Oh my god! <laughs> I love it. Obviously, look better on him. Um, Louise loved it. So, like, if Victor had something similar reaction, then that'd be great. Oh yeah. Um, with Victor's costume, I think he might actually like it. You know, the whole shirt pants and the whole school outfit. He'd probably like something like that. He does mean this Victor, doesn't he? This is perfection. This is actually what I've always wanted to have. It's like a dream come true. I feel like I am just ready to, to go and say I do. It's going to take a powerful spell to get Victor into this costume. I go with you. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Harry Potter. Forever. In Dublin, their friends are sensing that all may not be well. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. know. Brendan is it's, very different yeah. to you. Like I, I don't that, know so. if he'll go into as fine detail, detail as that yeah, suit I'm had. I'm a little bit nervous. Yeah. You know, it's amazing. Everything, all the detail, the quality, like even the stitching, everything is absolutely fabulous. If Brendan doesn't get a suit, the perfect suit that I've always wanted, I wouldn't get married if he gets something wrong. One day. One day, it needs to get it right. Yeah. I hope so. It's perfection. Well done. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Next, something that even Harry Potter might not be able to pull off. Shopping for seven bridesmaids' dresses and one bridesmaid's suit. Um, I'm kind of worried about the bridesmaid dresses because they're four, my four bridesmaids are totally different and Victor's side are completely different. And I hate shopping. Oh, it's as cheap as they come. If I can get a bargain, then they'll wear black, black bags. So, <laughs> let's hope to God it is. It is my day and it's not theirs, so what I tell them to wear then, that'll be it as well. Seems where budgets are concerned, even wizards like a cheap trick. One thing's for sure, Brendan knows his Harry Potter. And for his next touch of authenticity, he's off to animal magic. I'm getting married very soon. It's a Harry Potter team wedding. So obviously, if you know Harry Potter, yeah. I was a very... Big fan, big, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I read all the books. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. So, and obviously, I was our big part in, you know, because Hedwig becomes the best friend for Harry. Hedwig isn't available today, but Oliver is happy to deliver the rings. <laughs> now, if you bend your elbow slightly, okay, like this. Yeah. To do is, is call his name. Okay. Oliver. That's all right. Oliver. Good boy. Oliver. Oh wow! Look at him. Incredibly graceful. They're so beautiful. Oh, he's amazing. What do you think, Louise? Oh, I think he's perfect. I think he's perfect as well. He's absolutely perfect. He's very Harry Potter, very like, you know, the owl. <laughs> He's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And it's so cool to have an owl come to you like that. Yeah. I can't wait for it. Better not let you down now. Yeah. So, you know, you know what can happen when birds fly over guests' heads? You know what? You can poo on top of you. Oh. It's not called a poo with an owl. Isn't it? No, it's called a mute. A mute. mute. Yeah. So, you're OK. OK. Yeah. It's good look anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My only concerns are, you know, that he is he is carrying the rings if anything goes wrong. <clears throat> if he doesn't come, you know, if they're not secured on. I think he'll be fine once you know there's a treat. Yeah, and once he trusts you and then just once he doesn't mute on anyone. They're you know? training any man once they know there's a treat at the end of it, they'll always come. Ollie the L had a successful audition. But Victor's feathers are already ruffled after two weeks alone without the love of his life. It's been the longest two weeks of my life. Like, he's my soulmate, and now I am by myself. It's so stressful not to know what's going on because everyone keeps asking me, where is it going to be? When is it going to be? I get worried every day. It's bigger because 
the days are getting shorter, the dates getting closer, and I really hope that he comes up with a big, big dream wedding because that's what we've been looking for. Brendan, on the other hand, is chilling on the beach. And why not? He's booked a model train station for the marriage vows, a big green building for the party, and even found a children's costume for his groom to march down the aisle. So why worry? We've done loads. We deserve a bit of rest now, Louis. I don't know. You're not afraid that we're getting too relaxed? No, we've loads that I met, Louis. The whole yeah. week left. We deserve now a night off. What about a back massage? A back massage? Yeah. Gonna be fat now. Would it? Yeah. <laughs> well, I forgot you like a light, relaxing massage. Mm. So we can still have the bottle of wine, so. Yeah, that'll be fab. The most action I'll be doing tonight now is this. <laughs> But before you can say Philosopher's Stone, Brendan is back in action with a visit to a treasure trove of novelty items. So, guys, this is Tony the Pony. <laughs> <laughs> and this is how Victor's going to get his invitation to the wedding. So, it's basically, obviously, it's a pinata, so it kind of gives you know, him the Mexican yeah. culture. And... and what better way to invite your Mexican fiancé to his wedding than with a small Mexican paper donkey? I'm going to fill it with sweets and then cut out cardboard and notes of the date and where it's on and just put in like fake ones like try again or oh next time and I suppose now it's, it's coming to you know realisation that it's only a week away now and you know a bit worrying in one sense like have I done everything and is everything going to be done? Let's try again. Yep. He's going to get the date now and everything it's final and it's going to happen so I'm just hoping he'll be happy and come. So I'm going to write marry me. It's 29. Yeah. Of July. June. Of June. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot myself, but one through it. Classy. But that doesn't look like the bum. They don't look like bums, they love her. Oh my god, they look like they look bums. like bums. Well he likes bums though, why not? <laughs> <laughs> He'll get it either way. Oh my god. <laughs> what kind of bum does he like? My bum. <laughs> <laughs> A flat air so. <laughs> no, it's fun. Okay. Pony's gonna ring the ring. Tony the pony is ready to go. Time for the stag. Victor has got out the gang and is waiting to hit the town and party all night long. I'm nervous and excited. I'm really, really excited. We just dressed up because we think it's going to be something very glamorous. Let's hope they brought their sense of humor because the first place on their list will have them in stitches. Welcome here to the Constant Knitter. We've got a very special project for you all today. What size is that? <laughs> this is the small. Okay. Oh. Victor's beginning to think it might be a bit of a stitch up. I'm really surprised because I, he knows that I love to party. He knows that I love to dance. And to get crazy and wild. This is not what I was expecting. So if this tells me the direction of the wedding, I think I should be a little bit worried now. Brendan has left his stag in the hands of his best woman, Louise. And rule number one is, she decides what he's going to wear. Are you bit nippy for now? I don't know what to feel yet, I'm still... Processing what I just saw, I'm very worried what the secret is because I just saw a load of mud and dirty water, so. <laughs> and Louise has a wicked sense of humour. And just as he thinks he's on safe try land... <laughs> Back in Dublin, the willy warmers are knitted and the party seems to be getting underway. Salud, Brendan! But Brendan has one more surprise in store for Victor. Oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> OK. Oh my god! 
In Mexico, the paper donkey usually contains sweets, but this one has something even sweeter. You are a lucky guy. Oh, cásate conmigo. Marry me. Marry me on Thursday, 29th of June in Clonic Hill Tip. When is Thursday, 29th? Next Thursday. Next Thursday. Next Thursday. You got married next Thursday. <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna be married to him. And I just can't wait. I just can't wait and he's going to be my love forever. That's what I want. <laughs> it's obviously not the most fancy invitation in the world. He just got it with a marker. But this is Brendon. This is Brendon. This is his personality. And I want him to express the way he is. I hope he has my outfits ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hope he has my outfit ready. <laughs> OK, bitches, I'm getting married in one week. For Brendan, the action's not over yet. I think compared to Victor's diet, this is the way it worked for me. I got the short end of the stick in this. <laughs> <laughs> Worst thing I've ever done in my whole life. I've worn my knee, Jack. With best friends like Louise, who needs enemies? I've had enough of this now, I'm done. It's time to go and have a day. In Dublin, the invitation has Victor dancing for joy. Everything just suddenly changed after the piñata, and now loads of shots and drinks. So we're just having the best time ever. Thank you, Brendon. I love you more than ever. Tomorrow, Victor and Brendon will be married. Although it's the last thing Victor wants, Brendon has gone ahead with a Harry Potter-themed wedding. Oh, I am a bit worried. I'm just hoping that he'll turn up and he likes his outfit. It looks perfect for the wedding, for the theme and everything, so... And I love it, though. Victor and his bridesmaids are in Clonakilty, anxiously awaiting Victor's suit. And he already has the wedding day jitters. I'm actually shaking. Oh, I'm so yeah, I'm nervous. I'm really, really nervous. And what about if I don't like it? You will. I am a ball of nerves. But I do think he will pull it out of the bag. For Victor's sake, he will. He knows Victor inside out, so he will definitely pull it out of the bag for him. Look what I have. <laughs> oh. I'm terrified about the suit, about how, what he will come up tomorrow and I hope he really does it well. Victor is passionate about his appearance. He likes small suits from big fancy labels, but now it's time for him to try on the Harry Potter costume that Brendan found in a fancy dress shop. He's doing this to prove me, him, and everybody how we love each other. Brendan is hurrying to get the venue ready with less than 24 hours to go. He may need his own magic wand. I want him to wear the whole thing for the whole day because that's it's the whole point of getting the outfit so we match each other. And then it's the whole point of the whole day, it's the whole team. So if he comes on wearing something else, it's just going to look ridiculous. What is this? Victor is beginning to worry. You must be joking, what is this? Gordon, what is this? Eyes closed. Until I say so. Open your eyes. What the fuck? I 
haven't even seen Harry Potter. I know. I can't wear this cotton. No, I, of course you can't wear it. It's your wedding, it's not. This is Halloween. a joke. Is everyone joking or? I wish I was joking, Victor. Emma! It's not Halloween. This is your wedding day. Being Harry Potter has given Victor a case of the Deathly Hallows. I don't know what to say. I feel sick. I can't go to the wedding wearing this because I don't want my wedding to be a circus. Disaster. The day before the wedding and Victor doesn't want to go. I'm extremely disappointed of Rendon and I don't know literally what he is thinking. I don't know, like, what is, what is he doing? Like, what is he actually playing at? I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Oh. He's just thinking about him. He's not thinking about us and... I'm, I'm not going. I'm angry and somebody has to ring Brendan and tell him that I'm not going to the wedding like this. Brendan, I'm gonna kill you. Already under pressure with the venue, Brendan's plans are about to be plunged into a full-blown crisis. Hello? Hello. Hi, Brendan. Hi, Claudine. How are you? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is with the fucking Harry Potter? What's wrong with it? What's, What's fucking right, wrong with it? With it? Honestly, like... What's going on? He, he's never seen Harry Potter. You know he's never seen Harry Potter. It's lovely, and you'll understand when he sees it tomorrow. We feel like fucking packing up and going back to Dublin. Like, what is going it's on? It's not a joke, we're deadly serious. Like, well, we have to go, because right. Victor's upset, so do what you have to do. Literally, I'm not going to the wedding. I'm not going to the wedding, and I don't care what he does. I'm not going. Brendan has put all his efforts into a Harry Potter themed wedding, and Victor's costume is key to his magical vision. Like, I want him to wear that because it's part of the whole day, it's part of the whole concept. And, like, once he sees everything, he'll get it. But I just don't know, will he come? I don't know what to do. Go. Vamos, vamos, vamos. The big day has arrived, along with the bridesmaids' dresses. It's a happy distraction for Victor. Oh my god! Oh, the navy is beautiful! I think this one is my size. Can I use this one instead? <laughs> we just give him a bouquet now. There you go. There you go. Okay, I'm very big bride. Victor left Brendan a heartfelt message for every day they were apart. And there's just one left. The first time I saw you, my heart whispered, that's the one. All the 21 days, from the first day to today. So it's finally here now. Victor doesn't seem in any rush to get dressed, but the bridesmaids are good to go. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. God. Oh, what do you think? So do you like this? Come on, girls. Time to see Brendan's choice for his own entourage. Oh my god. Brendan is the oh, wedding you. wizard. Oh, gorgeous. I love it. He looks fabulous. Do we look the part? He looks the part. He's a perfect bridesmaid. Oh, that's so like nice. Him? I like it, girls. Everyone is looking fabulous. Everybody's happy, apart from Victor. It's your day. I'm happy for you because you look great. Oh. Um, we're happy for you. It's yeah. your wedding day. He's been putting on a brave face, but the mask is beginning to slip. It's nearly 11 o'clock and I'm not even getting ready. So, yeah. I don't know what the movie is all about. I'm just trying to get ready and trying to be a little bit good for today, but I, I'm not happy at all. A two lado in tus majore. The peor momentos permito ser to major amigo to compañero. I'm just trying to learn off my vows and just make sure I'm pronouncing everything correctly and that it's 
Okay, I just tried to make it sound nice. So, Prometo, Sartuyo. I did them in Spanish because obviously Victor's Mexican and they speak Spanish. And I wanted to give him something special so that, you know, so it gives him that bit of, you know, extra, you know, special feeling that I did it in Spanish just for him. Apparently, he wants everyone to look good except me. I think that Brendon is making this a joke. This is not a wedding, this is a Halloween party. <laughs> At least as Harry Potter, Brendon has them all under his spell. <laughs> but for Victor, he is still undecided. I can't go to the wedding, sorry. It's okay, don't be silly. I can't go to the yeah, wedding like this. I want to go. This I'm not going. Three weeks of hard graft may all have been for nothing. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Sometimes love can conquer all. Abracadabra! And with a little nudge from his friends, Victor is on his way. Yeah. <laughs> so. Oh my God, I'm so nervous. It's okay. It's okay. I'm just course, asking myself why I'm doing this now. I love great. Him. Because you love Brendan. Exactly. You love Brendan. Brendan loves you. Victor has realised that while Brendan's taste in wedding outfits might be dodgy, his loco motives are good. Is that for all? <laughs> I never thought that I was going to get married, and I just found my beautiful Prince Charming, so I'm just going to do this for him, and I love him. Love is acceptance, and I'm just ready now. I'm ready. That's the attitude, man. Meanwhile, Brendon is experiencing the most nerve-wracking moment of his life. <laughs> Come in, girls. Welcome to my wedding. As they reunite after three weeks, these two soulmates no longer need Harry Potter. They always had their own magic. Romito, Sertuyo, para siempre y estar a tu lado en tus mejores. Y peor momentos. Me separé de tu lado desde ahora y para siempre. Time for the rings. Cue Oliver. 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 <laughs> Oliver. <laughs> there seems Oliver. to be one L Diva that's not playing ball. Oliver. Oh. Oliver. Good boy. Oh. <laughs> I was just afraid he wasn't going to come, so... I, was I wasn't. I, wa <laughs> I wasn't going to. 
I said that I wasn't coming. Oh, why? Because I didn't want you to look like this. But you look beautiful and everything. If you think I'm beautiful, OK. Mm -hmm. You're family now. We are family. Yeah. Oh. It was the most beautiful ceremony that I've been to. And I'm just glad that it was finally with him. Finally. Ah, but I'm still going to kill you. I'm still going to kill you at some point. <laughs> So far, so beautiful. But it's not over. Victor is now on his way to the mystery venue for the reception. We're nearly close. Not far. It's a surprise. <laughs> Welcome to your venue. You're joking again, okay? No. It's not quite the grand entrance that Victor was expecting. Are you Where are we? <laughs> <laughs> but inside, it's a different world. Surprise. <laughs> 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 oh, wow. Oh. That's so nice. It's like going to a, to a different land. <laughs> and it's just magic. It's like going into the castle, the real castle of Harry Potter. And now everything makes sense. I feel like I'm living a Harry Potter film. All I need is a broom and a magic wand and I'm ready to go. If you just see the love they have for each other, it just makes it all worthwhile. To my beautiful husband, that feels so good to finally say, I'd like to say how beautiful and amazing you are. And each love story especially, but ours is my favorite. I will say, from the start, I was like, it's not gonna happen. You couldn't get anything more than what it is now like. It's brilliant, it's so good. We're just going to be together forever. My partner for life and my beautiful husband. I love you so much and thank you for this incredible wedding. Thank you. He just gave me a fairy tale wedding in Brendon's own version. So I'm just happy. I'm just happy to marry this man because he's the guy that I was always looking for. So now it's official and we are married. I thought he, he's going to change straight away. But actually, he's, he loved the outfit. He doesn't want to change it now. He wants to stay with the Harry Potter outfit. It's the best night of my life. I'm really, really happy that Brendan worked that hard because he really made it so special and so fantastic. Oh, what? <laughs> I'm ready to go. <laughs> I think we are just ready to go and watch a Harry Potter movie now. I don't think we've watched Harry Potter. You think so? No. Brendan and Victor! No more no. wasting time. It was long three weeks, so come on, let's go. Okay, fabulous.